Chapter 1, Lesson 3, Multiply and Divide Monomials. We will learn about two rules of exponents, the product of powers and the quotient of powers. A monomial is a number, a variable, or a product of a number in one or more variables. You can use the laws of exponents to simplify monomials. Notice that the sum of the original exponents is the exponent in the final product. So for example, if we have 3 squared times 3 to the 4th, it's really 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So in all reality, I have a total of six threes. All you do, the shortcut way, is you add two plus four. You keep the base and add two and four. So five squared times five. Remember, if a number doesn't have an exponent written in, there's an invisible one. You add the exponents, so this is really five to the third power. And the directions say to simplify, so five to the third power is 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. c to the third times c to the fifth, add the exponents, keep the base, is c to the eighth. There's nothing to simplify, so that's the answer. Negative 3x squared times 4x to the fifth. When you have numbers, you still multiply the numbers. We are doing multiplication. So negative 3 times positive 4 is negative 12. Now look at your x's. x to the add 2 and 5, 7th. Keep the base of 9, add the exponents. We have 9 to the 5th. Plug it in your calculator. and you get 59,049. You can use the calculator as long as you show the previous steps. Letter E, keep the base, add the exponents. Letter F, again, multiply those numbers first. You get a positive 16. And M, remember there's an invisible one there. So it's m to the 6th power. Quotient of powers. There is also a law of exponents for dividing powers with the same base. Notice that the difference of the original exponents is the exponent of the final quotient. So we have 5 to the 7th in the numerator, which means I have 7 factors of 5. And in the denominator, we have 4 factors of 5, or 5 to the 4th power. Well, anything divided by itself is 1, so what happens is we've got 4 of these 5's that cancel out, and all I'm left with is 5 to the 3rd. So the shortcut method is to keep the base and subtract the exponents. So our base is 4, subtract the exponents, 8 minus 2, and you get 4 to the 6th power. And 4 to the 6th power is 4,096. Letter B, our base is N. 9 minus 4 is 5. So it is N to the 5th power. Letter C, again, we have division, so we still divide our numbers. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Also, there's an invisible 1 next to that w as an exponent. So subtract the exponents. We keep our base. 5 minus 1 is 4. So 6w to the 4th. Letter D. Look at each one separately. Look at the 2's first. I have 2 to the 3rd. Now look at the 3's. 3 to the 1st. And the fives, five to the first. Well, two to the third power is eight. So eight times three times five gives us a final answer of 120. 
Letter E, again, focus on each set. 3 squared, subtract those exponents. This would be 5 to the first, and 7 squared. 3 squared is 9, 5 to the first is 5, and 7 squared is 49. Multiply these together. And you get 2,205. Letter F. We have negative 2, keep it in parentheses, raised to the third, 3 to the third, and 5 to the third. Negative 2 to the third power, please keep that negative 2 in parentheses on your calculator, would be negative 8. 3 to the third is 27, and 5 to the third is 125. Multiply them together. So we have negative 8 times 27 times 125. We get an answer of negative 27,000.